hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel yes that's if you're returning and if you're new hello my name is Plandes and please do want to subscribe to my youtube channel because i'm sure you'll find something helpful useful or entertaining on my channel here yeah. you're highly welcome and can we just get straight into the video please so from the title of the video you can see that this is a 2022 recap actually i filmed this video before yeah i filmed it like two nights or three nights ago on the 29th it was supposed to go live on the 30th but i filmed it at night hopefully i'm able to repeat what i said or just pass the message across that's basically it as we all know on this channel Tandas has to show up with her journal yes um if you don't know i'm telling you now and for people that know me and people that have been following me on my channel you would know that i'm a writer yes i write a lot i would if i say so myself i'm a writer i write a lot i write everything <laughs> basically yeah so last year oh i'm already in the new year today's second by the way happy new year so 2021 i ran through three journals yeah and 2022 just these two yes 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 i have gone to gone through these two journals and um i wrote quite a lot um let's just see so far how far this is the ultimate so far how far i said so this is my vision board for 2022 yeah i wrote quite a number of things i had as goals or as vision i wanted to achieve and yeah my word for 2022 was self-care and um let's see were we really self-caring were we taking care of ourselves um let's go let's go let's go normally what i do every year is categorize my goals into various categories so i had spiritual goals travel goals business goals youtube goals personal goals relationship goals and you know all of that trade up um i had a travel goal as well for 2022 and um i just wrote two things under that travel goal the first is to book a short let's for at least two nights and i did not so wow <laughs> what a way to start the video by stating the goal i feel that um yeah i did not i wanted to book at least maybe a weekend getaway for just myself but yeah that happened and i didn't so i also want to have a goal to visit so spiritual goals one of my spiritual goals was to have a retreat in the shortlet that's why i wanted to okay i didn't plan the shortlet for the retreat i had written my travel goals before even writing like my spiritual goals and then when i was writing my spiritual goals the plan was to actually have a retreat in the shortlet for like two nights just me and but i didn't book the shortlet that doesn't mean i didn't have retreat i had retreats by myself in my house in my room i just wanted it in a location but i didn't so hopefully this year 2023 would see um how far i'm going to carry over some of my goals both the ones i've achieved and i want to do them again and then new ones i want to add or the ones i didn't do and feel like i want to do them in 2023 basically so i'm going to do that then another um spiritual goal was to yes yes, yes i think 90 percent of the time i had goals fasting goals i have like i for my spiritual goals i think god has really helped me i don't think i would say i 100 percent checked it but i really made progress and i like how god is taking me or where he's taking me to yeah so i had um personal goals as well um one of my personal goals was to visit the spa which i think i did in 2022 yes i went in even though i didn't go for like a massage or there are different services in the spa i really wanted to wax i even wrote wax in here and yeah i did wax twice i was supposed to have a third appointment i had booked the appointment but had to travel um, like I had to go away and here and there shower I, I couldn't wax so by the grace of God I'm going to I, I think I'm not a wax girl honestly so yeah I'm going to book an appointment for this January just you know to wax so I visited the spa yes I did that I um I, one of my other personal goals was to have a new and, um always represent basically yeah did I slack towards the end of the year I can't remember I even took a drastic hair decision the video is coming up later on you guys will see <laughs> yeah so another personal goal was to for my gratitude jar yeah if you don't know um i'm heavy on gratitude very very heavy 
a gratitude that is something I started keeping sometime around 2017 or 2018 and I've not regretted at all. So it's something I do yearly. Yeah, this is my jar. I've, I've made a video, an in-depth video about a gratitude jar. So I'll leave it linked below. If you want to check it out, please do check it out. Gratitude jar. It just helps you cultivate your habit, habit of gratitude. So yeah, to have a gratitude jar, which I did. Honestly, I'm going to say for the last quarter of the month, I'm not sure that I did put inside this jar but like definitely since i write a lot to be honest so i have gratitude scattered all over my journal and all of that but i wrote at least for the most part of the one third so it's just maybe i think the last quarter and to be honest i think god has done so much that i can actively think of i have more reasons for the last quarter of the year to be grateful yeah so let me just read one or two um, this was on the 25th of May. I wrote this. I'm grateful for the gift of salvation and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, I'll just read, I'll read like two or three. 13th August. I wrote, I'm grateful for Apostle Joshua Selman and his timely messages. What, his messages are like one of the things I really feed on. I'm always, you would most likely always catch me if I'm listening to messages on YouTube. It will be Apostle Selman I'm listening to. Today, I'm grateful for peace, stillness, calmness, and quiet. This was on the 3rd of February, 2022. Um, this is this is long. I don't know why I wrote here, but this is long. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Today, I went for somebody's burial. Honestly, didn't think or consider it because normal me will not go before. It's just too long, but something significant happened in that burial. I got a message in that burial. And um, I was just grateful that I did go and then I got a message. The Holy Spirit dropped something. I came back and so um, I'm grateful for when I saw this. I'm not reading this, but when I saw this, it was something very insignificant that I, I, I assumed it was normal. I didn't even know I wrote this until when I was praying over my gratitude um, stickers on the 31st. I wrote this on the 23rd of June and I realized that. I've been enjoying this very grace for what more than 10 or 15 years now and I thought it was okay or normal for me to enjoy this grace so many people don't have the opportunity to enjoy this grace and then I think I don't even remember that day I think I just casually wrote it there when I was praying on the 31st I'm like wow I did I would never think to be grateful for this very thing but what came over me the day I wrote this very thing I don't know so that's just basically it here yeah? so to have a gratitude that was one of my goals and I did achieve it one of my goals also was one of my personal goals also was to read at least to read a book each month which I think I did try there was a month I was on a reading spree I read like seven books in that like particular month and yeah I really loved, I enjoyed my 2022 reads. There were some months that I didn't read, but for the most part, I read books that I'm so grateful I read in 2022. Then um, to declutter, I decluttered a lot, different areas of my life, my phone, my email, my socials, just different parts of my life, my wardrobe, physically, mentally, emotionally, I, I decluttered a lot. Even emotionally, I decluttered a lot. So I'm so grateful that I was able to achieve that goal. Then I wrote journal. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> for somebody that writes a lot, I don't know. I just, I think I just wrote it for writing sake because it's something I do. I don't have to be told. I don't have to make it a goal to journal because honestly, journaling is a part of me. Writing is a part of me. It's something I do effortlessly. In fact, the very first, the first time I filmed this video, that very day, I, I was showing this my most recent journal, the one I'm, in, I'm ending 2022 with before I move on like to 2023 journal. Let me show you guys something. That very day, yeah? Only that day. Let me show you the number of pages I journaled. Okay, that was on the 29th. Guys, just my 29th journaling. Yeah? I started from here. I wrote. <laughs> I wrote. I don't even know what I was writing, but I thought I wrote a lot. That very day, I wrote. No kidding. Like, my this page. So plus, so this is one day's worth of journaling, and this was on the thirtieth. I think I I was only like here and here on the thirtieth. 
then 31st okay this is when i was having my moment excuse the noise this was when i was having my moment um yeah i think i wrote quite a lot today okay not much just like three or four pages i wrote today so yeah guys um journal <laughs> i achieved it i also had volunteer goals i wanted to volunteer and i was able to i i remember significantly volunteering in two different occasions here so i'm so glad that i was able to give my services for almost nothing for free almost nothing basically here yeah. i'm so glad i was able to give my services i definitely volunteered in one way or the other maybe areas i would call insignificant or little ways but two major events um i remember vividly i did volunteer and i'm so glad i was able to do i had values for 2022 and i had five values which um i think i tried i had financial goals i wanted to track my finances i think i did track my finances maybe i lost track here or there but i did track my finances i wanted to save up to a certain amount did i save up to that amount nope <laughs> and then there were two also financial goals i don't want to mention them that i had which okay i achieved one then the second one i did not achieve then i had um youtube goals guys thank you so much in between let me just say thank you so much for your love for your support um i was quite inconsistent at a point but for the days that um i was posting to be honest my analytics are good the only time the analytics are dormant or not moving is when i'm not posting or when i go mia but for every time i post content um i get a decent it's not where i want to be but honestly thank you for the engagement thank you for the support thank you for every single thing i'm definitely gonna have 2023 youtube goals as well and um 2023 is gonna be our year i'm going to make a video of um 2023 planning for 2023 and all of that hopefully i make it if i feel led to i would within this week and make it go live hopefully next week as well but yeah i have youtube goals that um i made significant progress with those guys another thing with me is that when i'm writing my goals i don't write more small i write what would you would humanly call impossible and honestly god has just showed up as god because there are some things or some situations i call impossible but i still have no matter how tiny the faith is i still have small faith and god shows up and i'm like wow <laughs> you get here yeah. so some of this some of the goals i write they're like goals that are bigger than me that i don't is i should be realistic i'm realistic and some i'm very unrealistic with some of them but yeah that's that's it that's by the way i had um business goals as well i wanted to make a certain amount in profit from the business that um i had when before i finished internship and i would say i made it i'm not sure but i will say i made it to be honest god is just faithful i wanted to run a full circle of fish business on my resources by myself that's on part of my business goals but i did not achieve that fun fact guys i have a hey, never just took light i'm sorry um i have a fish farm that's weird but we'll talk about that some other day yeah so let's see let's just see let's just see i don't want to talk so much but let's just see how we go from there yeah then i also have relationship goals i don't want to state it but i have relation i have relationship goals like with my family with friends with you know different distinct which i think that god has helped me I've, i made real progress with them okay one of the things i wrote here was to make two new friends and i would say that i did meet two new friends more than two new friends i went to camp i made friends at home i made friends towards the even towards the end of the year I made friends and all of that here yeah. so um god is just faithful god is just faithful so i'm not stating any other thing from my vision board that's just these are just what i want to share the part i want to share yeah i got a new phone for i got two new phones actually <laughs> but the second one wasn't for me again wow god is faithful i didn't i didn't even like come back to this i didn't when i was actually getting a phone for myself it was not because i wanted to check something of my goal i just got it because okay there was a need at that point in time and i'm just saying you know that i actually did write new phone on my <laughs> oh, wow that's basically it that's it that's it guys so i have journaled a whole lot like i have journaled a whole lot in the year 2022 
and god honestly just proved himself so i just have a few pages until this second journal is full so i'll go get i've not bought my 2023 journal yet so i will get a 2023 journal within this week or next week hopefully but that doesn't stop me from writing what i have to write in the last few pages of my last journal so that's basically it i would say 2022 was a good year i don't actively have a memory of it being a terrible year or a bad year or anything it was very okay it was great in i've actually significantly grown in various aspects of my life socially spiritually financially emotionally i've gotten so aware of so many things and i'm just so grateful i would say that i give the credit to god he kept to his word and to his promises i did take care of myself so for the word self-care in 2022 i would say i would i got an a if i'm supposed to grade myself in my word for the year i would say that at least i got an a maybe if 80 is an a maybe i would say i got an 80 on the dot not like a 90a or a 95a but i would still give myself an a like maybe an 80a so hopefully for the word for 2023 i would get a 99 or a 100 percent and a hopefully amen by the grace of god so thank you so much for watching this video um i hope that you had a good 2022 and my prayer is that 2023 will be better for us it's going to be more significant for us we're going to have every reason to rejoice and dance and testify and bless god for the year 2023 so with this i bow out of 2022 and i say happy new year my darlings